Ladies and gentlemen, last summer, as I do almost every summer, I toured Europe. Well, I thought that as an American, I ought to integrate a little of the red, white, and blue, since I was there anyhow. And I did that to the old masters when I played Mozart, Tchaikovsky, and so on and so forth. I'm going to play for you now some of the selections. And um, for this purpose, I need two pianos, and that's why there was such a commotion up here because unfortunately they don't walk on by themselves. There it is. Of course, I will not be able to play both pianos, at least the way they are positioned. And it is indeed my privilege, my pleasure to introduce my traveling companion and good friend. The way also the official pianist with the New York Philharmonic, Mr. Leonid Hambro. Actually, not many people have heard Mr. Hambro play because when he plays, the whole orchestra plays. <laughs> and very loudly. <laughs> Special orders from Mr. Bernstein. But uh, about 80, 90 pieces. Huh? 104. Pardon? 104. Oh, there are 104. There, that's one. A good, on a good night, huh? <laughs> yeah. The only one who has really heard Mr. Hambro play when that whole orchestra make noises. That is uh, the fellow who stands next to him, the timpanist, isn't it? In the back there. Yeah. What does he know about music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, may I introduce, this is the young couple that has been married today. <laughs> so if you remember your name, would you be kind enough to tell it? <laughs> This is Mr. Hamble. Did you read in the newspaper, Lee, that Leonard Bernstein won another award? When I left New York. Was when you left New York, it was in the paper. Was it it's amazing. He wins more awards, that conductor of yours. He's marvelous, very talented. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if you read about it, but Mr. Bernstein won an award, yes, award yesterday for explaining the music of Igor Stravinsky to Igor Stravinsky. 